Hi, brothers and sisters. Okay, so I received two words from the Lord. Um, one on the uh, April 12th and one on April 13th. Now, both of them go together and the scriptures go for both of them. And, um, you know, he led me to the scriptures a little bit different than, than I'm used to because I, I watched a video and it's, it's an excellent video. I will put the link in the desc uh, description box. Uh, but it was uh, from John Finn, and it was titled uh, something like, you know, basically, are you hearing from God more than you think you are? So it's it's a sh it's a short video. It's like from like eight to eleven minutes long, something like that. Not very long at all. And uh, I really suggest you you know watch it. It's a great video. Uh, so, but basically, he says, you know, there is another way that God speaks to you, but you may not know it, and you may not. Um, you know, he, he puts something in your spirit, a feeling in your spirit. And, and so, you know, you're supposed to go and, you know, kind of close out everything else. Get in your prayer. This is what I did. You know, I go get my prayer closet, close everything else out, you know. You know and and, and uh, so he led me to the scriptures different than I'm used to. And I suggest, really highly suggest you watch that video. It's, it's wonderful. Okay. Also. He put in my spirit, the unveiling is about to start now. I don't quite exactly know what that means. I have an idea what it could mean. It could mean rapture. It could mean something else, you know. So, uh, but that is what he told me within my spirit. Okay, so while in my prayer closet, and this was before he gave me any, any word at all. This was uh, on the 11th or 12th before he gave me any word. But... He led me to Malachi 3, 17 through 18, uh, John 7, 33, and today on the 14th of April, he gave me Amos 8, 9, and 10 to go with both of them. Okay, so I'm going to read uh, the, the, the first one that I got on April 12th first, and if there's time, I will read the other one. In the, in the same video. If not, I will make another video. Um, also, the first line of this word he gave me, he's speaking to me. However, anyone who has remained loyal, anyone who has been obedient, anyone who has given up everything, you know, and I don't mean giving up family, friend, you know, and, and that too, if he wants you to, but giving up anything that he's wanted you to give up. If you've done that and you have remained obedient, he is speaking to you, you know. Okay. Um, okay. Daughter of the Most High, it is time, and you have done well. Your deeds shall bring much glory to the Father and I. The days ahead are going to be perilous, to say the least. It is time to say goodbye and prepare yourself for the next journey. Okay, brothers and sisters, I'm going to stop right there before. Okay, when he says, when he's telling me right here to say goodbye or when he's telling whoever else to say goodbye, don't actually go and tell your family and friends goodbye. Don't, don't quit your job unless... He leads you to do the same, okay? I mean, not to the same. Unless he leads you and says, I want you to go and say goodbye to your family and friends, you know, then do it. But don't go do it just because of what he's said in this to me. I think this, he's telling me, he's telling us to say goodbye to the world, which we already have. Basically say, we're, we're, we're getting ready for departure. You know, kind of say goodbye, I don't know how to explain it, but... Not literally to family and friends or, or you know, whoever. Um, you know, basically, I guess, to, to this world, you know. So, um, okay. So, he says, say goodbye and prepare, for your, prepare yourself for the next journey. In order to prepare yourself, all you must do is simply stay within me and wait. At any second, you shall... Hear the trumpet of God, and you shall see Michael standing tall and completing my tasks. I, the great I am, shall rescue my people and take them from harm's way. I shall set them apart from the wicked. 
I realize, my child, that it has been a long and treacherous journey. Awaiting your king has been no easy tasks, task. <laughs> However, await my true children did, and their wait is nearly over. Stand tall, my child. Stand up tall in my truth, in my righteousness, and stand tall in my holiness. For what is truly mine can never be anything else. Remember my words. Remember all I have said. They shall be a comfort for the days ahead for those that are left behind. I shall see you so very soon. Love, oh, excuse me, your love, Yahshua HaMashiach. Okay, so I guess that was a little bit more for me than I thought, but it's also for everybody, like I said, who, whoever, you know, has remained loyal to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, or wait, I believe, I believe, I have not been told this, well, and yeah, but, but I, we wait on his timing, <laughs> but, you know, I believe that we are almost there, at any day now, we're we're going to hear it. We're going to hear the trumpet. We're going to rise up and be with our Lord, who we have served and loved and given everything to. We will be able to see his glorious face. You know, we will be able to look upon his face. How awesome is that? That's just so awesome. Um, you know, I guess I will go ahead and read this other word real quick. It won't take long. Uh, it's shorter than the other one. Okay. So this is the one, um, April 13th that, that I received yesterday. Okay. Glory to the one who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord of heaven's armies is in the midst and waiting. At any moment, I shall take back what is mine. Let my spirit pour out while I am here. For when I set my captives free, I shall remove myself from the sinful world for a time. Yet, the glory of the Lord will withstand it all. I shall be honored, and I shall be... Oh, forgive me. I lost my place. Oh, I shall be honored, or I shall remove those that do not belong to me. Remember what I have taught you, my children, for you are mine, and nothing can ever change that. Smile, my bride, your wedding is upon you, Abba. Okay. So, brothers and sisters, that is what I received. Um, you know, I... I all I can say is, is you know, and, and I'm not saying that it's coming. I, I know for sure. I believe. I believe as well as many other people out there, many other brothers and sisters. Uh, you know, we feel and we believe that it's coming now. You know, and, 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 and I mean, now could be, who knows. But it will be worth the wait. It will be so much worth the wait. I think once we get there, we're going to look back and we're going to be like, what? <laughs> what What were we complaining about? You know, really, what were we complaining about? It really wasn't that much time. But right now, while we're here, <laughs> it feels like we're just suffering in agony. I know. I know, brothers and sisters. I'm there with you. So, um, I love you all with all my heart. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Hmm. But I guess, alas, <laughs> it's not coming to my memory. I know there's something else and I just, oh well. Okay, brothers and sisters, I love you all so very much. Shalom.